Okay, so uh, here's the skateboard um, on its own layer. I'm made sure I've locked that layer. What I want to be able to do is to put some images just inside here, but to be able to change them easily. So I've downloaded a little uh, bit of graphic art here of the Pink Panther. So I'm going to make that fit into this space. So how do I do that? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick selection tool, and I'm going to put my marching ants around the inside of that skateboard deck shape. With that selected, I'm going to click create a new group, and then I'm also going to click the one that says create a layer mask. So I've got my new group and I've got my layer mask. Now I want to go back to my drawing. I'm going to do Control A to, uh, to copy it. I'm going to come back over here. I'm already on that group, and I'm going to do Control V to paste it. So it's pasted it just into that layer area. Now I might want to come up here and I'll rename this and call this Pink Panther because I can put as many of these new layers on and I can turn them on and off to see what they look like. When I'm in the layer, if I want to use my move tool, I can actually move around that particular um, selection to see which bit of it I want, or I can even grab the corners and I can change the perspective, the size and so on. So that's one quick and easy way of putting uh, a background onto the deck area. So I've added a second layer in. I've done an Avengers one as well, so I can easily see what that looks like. I could take off the Pink Panther one, and I've got the Avengers one underneath. And in the same way, if I wanted to move that around, I can go onto the image um, itself, and I can change the perspective and size, the same as I did last time. Other things I can do is I can add my own graphics over the top, or I can add my own text. Always best to work with a new layer each time. And what I want to be able to do is I want to put that text over the top of my uh, skateboard shape. So I might just turn this off the minute so I can see what I'm doing. Grab that. I'm going to position it kind of where I want and change the size and so on. See what that looks like. And then if I turn my other layer back on again now, I can see that I've got that word Avengers over the top. Now, maybe I want to change the color or whatever. I can always go back in and do that afterwards. Okay, something else I might want to do is add a shape. So I'm going to basically create myself a new layer down the bottom here. I'm going to call that layer, this time I'm going to call it star. Um, I can do any shape I want, but when I've got that layer selected, I'm going to go down here where all my tools are uh, for my shapes. I'm going to go for a polygon tool. Now, as soon as I select that, my in-context menu at the top here changes. So you can see at the moment it's set for a fill color of white and a stroke of black, which is one pixel wide now it's up to you. you can change all those i'm just going to change my color so i'm going to go for a pinky kind of color um, and if i draw now what will happen is i get a polygon as big as i make it now this is a 10 sided one if i wanted less i would just change the number up here so there's a six sided polygon now there's my six sided one um, but the other thing i can do is if i wanted to make say something like a star i can go into the settings and if I go and change this ratio down here, so maybe I'll make it 50% instead of 100, and then draw, I get a star. So in my star shape, I can grab that now and I can position it wherever I want to on my skateboard design. I don't want these ones. So I don't want these other ones. So I'm going to go back and you can see that's created additional layers on there for those ones. So the star layer is actually the one that's uh, the top one, which is wrong. I'm going to get rid of that one because I drew it three times, and I don't want that one, so I'm going to delete that one. And the one that's left is the polygon, which I actually want to call it a star, so I'll rename that one. Now, at any point, I can still go back. Once this thing's selected, if I go into the properties of it, I can still do things like change the appearance. If I want it to be green instead, if I want it to be bigger, I can drag it out again, and so on. So I, I, everything's editable afterwards. But if you organize things nicely on your layers, you know exactly where things are. So again, if I don't want that on there, I can turn it on and off and see what it looks like.